Hello and welcome to another episode of LGR Play. I'm Mark Hamer and today I want to talk about hard games. With the release of Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, the latest tough as nails game from those sadistic b****** at From Software, people are again talking about difficulty and the rewarding feeling of overcoming a challenging game. Now having played a few hours of Sekiro, I can confirm that it is excellent and hard. Punishingly hard. But it is also very long, and if you're a lapsed gamer and have limited gaming time, then it's probably not the game for you. But never fear, if you're a lapsed gamer but enjoy challenging video games, there are plenty of games that will cater to your needs, and I've found 10 great examples. So without further ado, here is, in no particular order, my top 10 hard video games for lapsed gamers. First up, if you want the Dark Souls experience in a more manageable package, then I highly recommend Salt and Sanctuary, a 2D hand-drawn action platformer that plays like a cross between Dark Souls and Castlevania. Salt and Sanctuary is accessible while also remaining as hard as nails. Lovers of the Souls series will find a lot to enjoy in this game, from the familiar character creation and class system to the death mechanics and the cryptic storytelling, all transposed into a great little action platformer. Salt and Sanctuary is available on PC, Mac, Linux, PS4, Xbox One, PlayStation Vita, and Nintendo Switch. Next up, Super Meat Boy, the legendarily hard platformer from Team Meat. Super Meat Boy is the perfect example of a game that is incredibly hard but exceptionally fair. A 2D platformer in which split second timing and precise control are needed to navigate the fiendishly designed levels and death will come swiftly and often until you master them. To mitigate the difficulty, each level can be completed in 30 seconds or less, and respawning following a death is instantaneous, so you can run a level over and over and over again until you perfect your run and finally make it to the end. If you love 2D platformers and want bite-sized chunks of ultra-challenging gameplay, then you could do a lot worse. Super Meat Boy is available on Xbox 360, Xbox One, PS4, PlayStation Vita, PC, Mac, Nintendo Wii U, the Nintendo Switch, and a sequel entitled Super Meat Boy Forever is due out later this month. In a similar vein to Super Meat Boy, Celeste is a crushingly hard 2D platformer, but instead of standalone levels, it takes place in a series of worlds where each interconnected screen is both a single level and part of a whole map. 
blending elements of Super Meat Boy with some Metroidvania mechanics and the addition of a mid-air dash, plus some much needed humorous dialogue and story to break up the gameplay. To help with the difficulty, Celeste features a number of options to assist with gameplay, such as including infinite dashes or slowing the speed of the game. Although if you really like a challenge, I would recommend sticking with the default difficulty, no matter how many times you might be tempted to snap your controller in half. Celeste is available on PC, Mac, Linux, PS4, Xbox One and Nintendo Switch. I wasn't going to be able to put together this list and not include a shmup, and when it comes to that genre there are so many to choose from. I could have gone with the legendary uh, Dodonpachi or the incredible Ikaruga, but my personal favourite is the housemark shmup Rezogun, the spiritual successor to Super Stardust HD. Taking place in a series of cylindrical levels where everything is made of voxels, you are tasked with destroying all the enemies that spawn while rescuing the last humans. While not quite a bullet hell shmup, Rezogun can and will throw a seemingly insurmountable number of enemies at you, but because of the cylindrical design of the levels you can always see what is coming and plan accordingly. Fast, challenging and incredibly fun, Rezogun is available on PS3, PS4 and PlayStation Vita. Next up, Titan Souls, a distillation of the Dark Souls formula down to its most basic concept, killing bosses. In Titan Souls there are no complicated gameplay mechanics to get to grip with, no armies of enemies to plough through on your way to a boss, not even any items to use. You have a bow and one arrow which must be charged up to shoot and can be picked up or called back to you, and you have no health bar or recovery items. The entire purpose of the game is to take on the 19 bosses, each of which can kill you in one hit, but all of which die from one direct hit from your arrow. The challenge comes from finding an opening to fire your arrow at the boss's weak point while avoiding their attacks, something that is easier said than done. You will die over and over again, but when you finally take down the boss, pull your arrow from it and absorb its soul, the feeling of satisfaction is hard to top. Aside from exploration and some light puzzles, that is the entirety of the game. Punishingly hard gameplay in bite-sized chunks. Titan Souls is available on PC, Mac, PS4, PlayStation Vita and Android. Now you can't put together a list of hard video games and not mention Cuphead, the rubber hose animated run and gun platformer. Known as much for its unique and retro art style and its jazz soundtrack as for its challenging difficulty, Cuphead is predominantly a series of boss fights interspersed with platforming sections and some light storytelling. 
Mixing elements of bullet hell shmups with precision platforming, Cuphead will send you back to the beginning of a given level over and over again before you finally triumph. And while the distinctive art style means that visual feedback that you are doing damage to a boss or not is sometimes not as clear as it could be, the game is never unfair and the feeling of elation you get from finally beating one of the game's 19 bosses is hard to match. Cuphead is available on Xbox One, PC, Mac and soon the Nintendo Switch. Next up, Dead Cells. Now, in the last few years, there have been a plethora of action platformer roguelikes, from Spelunky to Rogue Legacy, but none have, in my opinion, played quite as well as Dead Cells. An action platformer with a variety of exciting and fun weapons to use, hordes of murderous enemies, and some of the most engaging and challenging boss fights in any game I've played. Over the course of your many, many runs, because you will die a lot, the game takes you through a set path of levels that rearrange themselves procedurally each time so that you're never sure what you'll come up against on your path to the next crushing boss fight. Each time you make it to a safe zone between levels, you can spend what cells you've collected from your fallen enemies to buy permanent upgrades that persist onto your next run, so that when you inevitably die and get sent back to the beginning of the game, you will be ever so slightly more powerful for that next run. Dead Cells is quite simply the best example of its niche genre and comes highly recommended. And it's available on PC, Mac, Linux, PS4, Xbox One and Nintendo Switch.
Another challenging game that falls into the nebulous roguelike category is Enter the Gungeon, a twin-stick bullet hell shooter come dungeon crawler in which you fight through a number of floors of a procedurally generated dungeon, murdering hosts of enemies, amassing an arsenal of over-the-top weapons and bashing your head against a series of hilarious but punishing bosses. A dodge mechanic with a liberal amount of invulnerability frames and the ability to kick over tables to use as cover can help with the ridiculous amounts of projectiles that will be launched at you, but mistakes will cost you health and you will die. A lot. So get good, as the kids say. Enter the Gungeon is available on PC, Mac, Linux, PS4, Xbox One and Nintendo Switch. My penultimate pick is Fury, the game I consider to be the most challenging of all of these games. Fury is a cross between a hack and slash action game and a twin stick bullet hell shmup in which you battle through a series of incredibly hard multi-phase boss fights. There are no ordinary enemies to fight between each boss, no way to hone your skills before taking on a boss, you have to learn on the fly during each fight as each boss fight differs massively from the last. You can shoot, slash, dodge and parry, but the window of opportunity to use each ability is very short and the game will punish you for timing your attacks, dodges or parries wrong, or for getting too greedy. None of the fights last more than about 10 or 15 minutes, but the constant level of intense gameplay means that anything longer would be too much. Delivered with stunning art designed by Takashi Okazaki, the mastermind behind Afro Samurai, and accompanied by an absolutely banging soundtrack, Fury is intense, hard as nails, and definitely one to look out for if you like a truly challenging game. Fury is available on PC, PS4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch. Finally, uh, my personal favourite on this list, Nex Machina, the penultimate arcade game to be made by veterans of the genre Housemark before they decided to pivot to new genres. Next Machina is the culmination of everything they learned making arcade shmups for more than two decades and was created in collaboration with veteran arcade game designer Eugene Jarvis. Next Machina is a frantic top-down twin-stick shmup that tests your skills across a series of small voxel-based levels before pitting you against one of a myriad of complex and rewarding boss fights while, like Resogun before it, rescuing humans along the way. 
You can see from the footage how bombastic the game looks, but it's hard to put into words just how good it feels to play. Next Machina is one of the finest examples of what people call game feel, because the gameplay is just so perfectly tight and refined that I can't honestly see how it could be improved upon. Housemark may have decided to move away from the genre due to it no longer being financially viable, but at least they left us with this absolute gem of a game before they called it quits. Next Machina is an absolute must-buy for fans of arcade shmups and fans of hard games, and it is available on PC and PS4. Well, that's it for another video. If you enjoyed it, please do consider hitting that like button and maybe subscribe to the channel and drop us a comment down below to let us know your favourite tough game. As always, you can find the Laps Gamer Radio podcast on iTunes, Podbean and Spotify. You can find us on Twitter at Laps Gamer. You can email us at lapsgamerradio at gmail.com and you can read our words over at lapsgamer.com. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you on the next episode of LGR Play.